All right, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna hop over to the demo here. And the first thing that we are going to look at here is the row level security. So I'm going to go into our data model here. And actually, first I'm gonna show you the live board. So I'm logged in as me. This is in our cloud environment at Interworks, our demo environment that we use for testing things and showing stuff. And this is a data model that's sitting, or sorry, live board on top of a data model of FAA data uh, for, it's about 25 years of flight data that we have here with June of 2016 being the most recent month of data. It's all US flights. So I can see here that I've got 502,000 flights that happened in July of 2016. And I can see that my home airport is the busiest airport in this data set, which is to be expected. Well, maybe I'm serving this data up to Delta, a Delta client. Delta might be my customer. And I don't want Delta to see all the Southwest data or the United data or the American data. So I need to set up a row level security rule. So if I go into my tables and I'm gonna go into my fact flights, I could type, there we go. And in the table object, we see that we have some options here and row security is one of them. Well, I'm gonna use, um, uh, there's there's two different rules here we have. So I was gonna show you that we have two different rules. And, and every time you set up a row level, row level security rule, you need to have a name for it. So you, you gotta actually give it, give it a name. And this one here is saying, hey, if the user is in a groups called franchisee group, and if the airline name is Delta Airlines, then return true, else return false. So that's this if statement. And then if it's not in TS groups, franchise group, then return true. So it's a nested if statement here is what we built out. So it's got two, two, uh, two steps of logic here for that one. So that's one rule that's being applied. And then I've got this other rule here that's doing it on the TS username. So I have this test user, Delta user, and if airline name is that, it does the same logic. So there's two ways you can be thrown into this Delta security group where you only see Delta Airlines. I'm in the franchisee group or my username is Delta user. So let's go back to that live board. I'll show you this again. Again, we've got 502,000 uh, is our KPI here. So let's hop over to my incognito window and log in as that Delta user. So now I've logged in, I'm going to go to that FAA demo. And now you see 88,000 or 83,000 flights. So it's clearly filtered the data down. Atlanta is even a bigger leader. And that would be expected because Atlanta is the biggest hub for Delta. It's actually the biggest hub for any airline. And I only see Delta Airlines when I see flights by airline. So it did what I exactly what I wanted to do. Here's the thing that I like too about ThoughtSpot. Like if I were to drill down or show underlying data, I'm only gonna see the data for Delta Airlines. Um, I'm only gonna see that. There's no way for me to see any other data. So sometimes when we do real level security in other platforms where the, where the rule lives in the BI platform, there still runs a risk of a download happening and that rule not being applied because it may not be set up maybe the way we need it to. ThoughtSpot's not going to allow that. Remember, it's running live queries. So what's your rule you're applying? It's a where clause in every single query from here on out. So that's a really, really powerful feature. And it's it's simple to set up, but sometimes a little more complicated to think through the logic. And again, if you guys need help with us, we at Interworks be happy to help you guys as you work through this in your environment. I think this is so cool because as compared to a software like Tableau, a lot of times people might do this on the worksheet level put this onto a dashboard and then people might be confused as to what they're seeing or some worksheets have it and some don't. And ThoughtSpot just does it overall. I guess my one question to you now is as I'm looking at this dashboard, how would I know that row level security has been implemented without designing it myself? That's a great question. Um, most of the time, I think as a user, we don't really want them to know that per se, but as an administrator, um, 
yeah, you would actually have to go to the table object. I mean, one way we could do is just go to this filter and all I can see is Delta Airlines. Whereas if I go back to the other view, the master view that I was on, and I go to the filter, I can see all the airlines that are in the data set. So using the filters is a quick way if I'm just trying to check. Um, but obviously going to the actual table object is gonna be the most surefire way. Are there any row level security rules applied here? 